Okay, welcome to my big pile of stuff. I'm here to complete a challenge for Ink and Memories on Facebook. It's a spin-off group from December Ember, and it is Charla's birthday. So there is a YouTube hop, and three different people who have YouTube channels did videos, and I believe a bonus two people. And you can either use a printable to enter the challenge and contest, or you can use the prompts teal, butterfly, and grunge. So what I'm going to do is do the latter, and I'm going to do teal, butterfly, and grunge. And hopefully I have pulled all the teal, all the butterfly, and I always have grunge um, together. And I want to use this pile of stuff to magically make a tag, hopefully a belly band, maybe a pocket, and a bookmark. But we'll see how it goes with the supplies that I have. So hold on, I'll clean this up and we'll start one by one. Okay, so basically I've sorted my stuff into piles. I have trash, a receipt from the Dollar Tree today, tealy things that I've received from Happy Mail, pieces of paper. One thing that I printed out, I made this on AI. Um, a couple printables from Darcy, Darcy's Mixed Media. If you don't know her, please check out her YouTube. Um, these are from December, Ember 23. Uh, butterflies and I believe these are also maybe from 49 dragonflies um, from one of the past things that she did if not they are from Darcy um, a piece of teal magazine and teal um, pieces of uh, newspaper I have napkins and I have uh, just butterfly like harder cutouts here in addition to glue, distress ink, scissors, hole punch, stamps, a few stickers, and away we go. Now we're gonna start. Okay, I've set my butterflies aside and I decided that maybe I'll try to make three type of uniform pieces or maybe four. And the funnest way to do that is I'm going to rip up many pieces of what I have as far as teal um, and grunge. And I'm going to mix them together and make a mini uh, master board slash collage piece slash slash slash. So um, I'm just going to take some of these pieces and rip portions of them. And I'm just going to put some aside. Some of these pieces are so, so beautiful. I don't know how much I need. I'm not really going to think too, too much about it. Now, this is just a regular piece of paper printed on the printer. I love wishies, so all the papers are going to tear differently and look different ways. This is a piece of, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. It was punched out and given to me, so I'm just going to put that aside. Uh, I'm going to change my mind about these for right now. I will use this one. Now I just printed this on regular paper as well. What I like to do is, um, I'm not sure I did it with these, but sometimes what I'll do is I'll do the opposite of what's normal. I will not print on high quality. I print on draft and I get like a fade out. So I don't think I did it on these. I just think I printed these regular, but um, sometimes I do that. That's my nice little trick. Darcy, I watched the video where she made them, I believe, and um, it's really cool how she uh, accomplishes that. 
I love the coffee stain look, but I do not like coffee at all. So some of these pieces are way bigger than they need to be, but again, I'm going to put them all together and try not to overthink it because I always do. On my wish list, a tearing ruler. Until then, I'm going to use this tape measure. <laughs> See? I just cut it. It was rolled up. And I said, nope, you are going to be repurposed, my friend. It's from a car magazine. All right. And I forget sometimes that the ends of things have a, a straight edge. So I have to keep ripping. Like that. All right. I have something else in mind for these later. Um, so hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, later actually means now. What I'm going to try to do is take these pieces and since they have a teal to them, I'm going to try to crumble them like I like to do with the faux leather method. I'm going to try to crumble them and then dye them with paint. Um, and then set them aside because they're going to need time to dry and maybe they can be used as the base papers for the collage. So let's see how that works. And you know what? I don't need to be exact here. I can always do this later depending on how crazy I get. With my paint, I just don't really feel too jazzed about using something that says employment section. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take these guys here and I'm just going to crumble them up. I want to be slightly more careful than I am usually when I do it because I'm using either a brown piece of paper or something else when I do this method. And I'm not going to condition these with uh, any sort of hand, san hand sanitizer, hand lotion, uh, shampoo, or anything like that. Because I'm not really trying to condition them. I'm just trying to get rid of the print that's on them a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of paper here. Maybe two. And we're gonna see if this works. Just gonna dab on some white. Now I could actually Maybe I should. I'm gonna go get a plastic bag. Hold on. All right, I just have a plastic bag from my local grocery store and I'm gonna take it. Maybe I should have did one at a time. I used way too much white. And then I'm just gonna turn the bag so I get another section. Gonna put in the closest color I have to teal, which is saying that it's turquoise. And I'm just gonna put it on the one. And then I'm gonna dab it any crazy way I want to, maybe even pull it through on the other. And let's not forget, this is supposed to be also grunge. So I'm gonna need 
black. Please hold, I'll be right back. Okay, I have a more refined way that I like to grunge up something at the end and that's by using glitter. But I am not going to do that right now. I'm just using a chalk paint. Um, I don't know if you can even tell anymore. This is folk art. I have two folk arts and a uh, just apple barrel paint, if you were wondering. All right. Now I'm going to grab these pieces. And I'm going to try to very delicately put them together. And pull them apart. Right. And now I'm going to dry these. And I'll be right back. You know what, before I do that, I want to do something a little crazy. I'm going to take my stencils and kind of lean them up on this too. And I do have some, oh, that's gel gloss, hold on. I have some molding paste by Golden. And I'm going to, I have very little left, but I'm going to try to use a lot. And I'm going to try to just push this through onto here and see if I can get, maybe not because I'm squashing it down too much, I'm trying to get like a raised texture to it. Okay, I do see bump here, so that's cool. Let me try this other one. It looks a little more wispy. Let's see if I can just make it thicker in one area as opposed to trying to make it be all over the place and I'm happy that the black paint kind of got up in there a little bit all right slip this one up okay cool I like that so we're going to dry that I don't think I have enough really to make a difference I can try to squash a little here White on white doesn't really show up so much. Let me try to squash a little more here. And I could always, if it's not for texture's sake, I could always come back and do that again with paint or something else later. So, all right, give me a second to dry these and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are my three pieces dry. I really like that almost like puffy paint texture the lines really didn't come through too much the lines and circles but that's okay because everything I feel adds definition um, the biggest piece I wanted to put together today was a belly band now these are just the tops of a tissue box so I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna take these two I thought it'd be more interesting to glue them together this way um, so that the little hooks are there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these guys. And I'm just going to glue stick them together. I'm not really trying to measure in any way. I know that I kind of I have a little ruler on the side of here. And I have my friend over here. I can always cut it down later depending on the size of the journal, but that's gonna be big. That's 11 inches, that's more than enough. And if you take into account the um, scoops, if you don't want them, that's gonna be like 10, 10 and a half. So I'm just gonna take that. My original plan was to use these pieces as just the first cover 
so to cover it and then add to it but I kind of like how I have all the pieces ripped so I will use a big chunk of this let me get off some of the parts that you can still see words on definitely not interested in words all right going to bring back my pieces. I really love how this turned out. And if you're not as neurotic as me, I mean, even the words, you probably won't be able to see at the end by the time we're done with it, but... I know it's there, so I'm going to try to rip as many as I can. That's just a really cool piece. So cool. I think that's the best thing I ever did with an employment ad in my life. <laughs> All right, so let's give this guy a rip. I have a tendency to rip the same way, so I try to keep turning it. Try to leave some points long and have a point of interest. I'm gonna leave this one intact for now. And then I'm just gonna start gluing. It doesn't really matter, both sides are. Now see, I have that straight line there, so I wanna cover that. So I wanna make sure that where I glue it down, the edge isn't on the side. Because I don't really want to have that hard edge. I want to have a edge on the side, but not necessarily a harsh edge. I'm really loving the way that that newspaper piece came out. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. But I do. And again, so this is butterfly, teal, and what was the third thing? Oh, grunge. So we already accomplished the grunge. I knew that that wouldn't be hard for me. Trying to get in some of these pieces. What makes me think I can just stick a piece down without putting glue and it's going to stick? I don't know. Again, I'm trying not to think about it too much. Just want to put pieces down. Want to make sure I use up at least most of what I have represented here. I'm not going to wind up using the receipt because the newspaper turned out so well. What else do I got here? Oh, I forgot about this. I'm going to save this and not rip it. I think that could be really good for something else. Oh, that's fluffy stuff. It reminds me of a sweater. When she did that, I remember thinking, God, that is such an interesting piece. Everybody is so creative out in the journaling world. That's oh, too matchy. When I said I wasn't going to think about it, am I thinking about it? I think so. There we go. Some variety. All right. I like it. I was getting worried there. I thought I had enough that it would be fun. And then I just kept pulling the same pieces. If you let me, I would use a whole glue stick on everything I make. It's just me. 
All right, what else do I got? More of these wonderful leaves that aren't sticking. It's kind of hard though too. With the magazine, it's a little shiny, so it's not sticky. Um, and then the pieces of paper are more. So, how about a big old stain for the middle? And what else do we got? We got a hole in the bottom. What do we have? What do we have? I already have that big piece there. How about another piece of my wonderful stuffs? Now there's already one over there, and I'm already thinking too much. All right, I'm going to put a piece here. Still looking for something for my corner. Send me a corner piece. When in doubt, wishy it out. All right, and I need just something to break this up here. Again, sometimes trying not to think causes more thinking than anyone knows what to do with. I swear I'm trying not to think. Just smear loads of glue on here and put pieces down that don't want to stick. <laughs> All right, I still see a little real estate here. I could always put my butterfly there, but let's see if I can just see if anything calls to me to save me out of the blue. Nope. Maybe. All right. All right, I am going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are mostly dry and I've made some decisions. I do this a lot. Uh, I really don't like the way it looks up and down. It's definitely gonna look better sideways. So um, when I put the finishing touches on it, I'm gonna try to be more aware that I probably want it to be sideways. Uh, as opposed to up and down. I think that makes it look a lot nicer. Um, if things don't work out, and I could also do it sideways, I could always wind up cutting it in half and using it as two uh, pockets also. So um, I just took a look at it this way, and um, because I was looking at it this way, I was too focused on it. So I think it looks better probably from this angle, uh, whether it's used actually as a whole as a belly band. Um, in the future or not. So I'm going to take it upside down right now and I'm just going to cut off the excess. Actually, I really want to rip it. I'm going to try to rip off the excess. Because I really don't want it perfect. Here. I like that pieces stick out. Just sometimes when I do that, then I go back unearth the cardboard again or the base piece, and I don't want to do that. So I just want to try to hold this down as much as I can. I also notice that when I need to do something like this when it's wet even though the materials can shift, sometimes it's easier, especially that is a thick piece. Sometimes it's easier to tear when it's wet, so. All right, and then I'm just gonna tear along here and here, and I'm not gonna be too exact about that for now, because again, I don't have a journal to put it in right now. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you what I mean by, um, pretty grunge. I'm going to take this piece and I grab my piece of paper 
I like to do this on tags and ATCs and things like that. So I'm just taking, I have black glitter and I'm gonna take the black glitter and it literally looks like sand. And I would normally rub it with my hand, but let me pretend I'm refined. And you can just rub it along. You can think about where you're putting it or just kind of put it along here. Maybe this, these pieces are too shiny. So I'm gonna, this really looks like, I wanna say almost dirt. I'm rubbing onto it like black, black sand when it dries. It's another fun way to kind of pull the whole thing together so you're not really paying attention to any one piece and it becomes one piece again. Or at least that's what I tell myself. And then any of those edges that ripped white since I really didn't put uh, any uh, distress ink on it, it's a good way of kind of dirtying up. So I'm gonna dry that and then I'll show you, see if you can see the difference. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're looking a little dirtier, a little grainier, especially in through here, it kind of looks like there's dirt on it. And there are some little sparkles of silver in it, um, but I don't know how much you're actually gonna be able to see. So I'm going to select a butterfly and maybe some butterfly stamps, let's see. And I'll be right back. Okay, here are my butterfly choices. I'm gonna immediately count this one out because I'm gonna save this big boy for something later. That's a Louise Heinzel piece. Um, I have two napkins, obviously. I only need one. I'm very matchy-matchy, but this is also very big and such a light piece. I don't know if I'm feeling napkin for this. This butterfly could be really nice as well, but I'm still not feeling napkin. Um, then I have this guy, he's really thick. That could work. I don't like the white in the antenna, antennas, antennas. Um, I know a lot of people for belly bands have a tendency to use multiples. Eh. All right, I'm not feeling these guys. What else do I got? I still have this whole page of butterflies here from 49 Dragonflies. You could have some options here, especially this one is really beautiful. So is this one. And again, I just printed this on regular paper, so if I use this, I might have to reinforce it in some way. What else do I have? I have butterfly stamps. And then I have some butterfly stickers and cutouts. Now these guys are mostly see-through, so I don't know what would happen. They kind of just get lost and they're shiny, so I don't know about them. Uh, when my father passed, I started getting his mail right before he passed, and he had things that he was lining up that he was going to get me for this, that, and the other thing, and this came in through the ad. I thought that was very special. Maybe I will add that in here. I do like that butterfly circle. I'll put that in there. Um, and then here's a bigger version of that. Maybe I could do something like with that, like a medallion and the words. All right, let me ponder these things and I will be right back with a decision. All right, I wish you were live. I'm getting close to my decision. I first thought about using this and layering this piece on here, taking out this and putting it somewhere on here and then to have the quote. But I feel like with the belly band, I definitely don't wanna put it something in the middle. Um, I do like it when people do belly band things in threes. I don't know, maybe that in the center of there. 
Again, I have the tendency to overthink too much. Haven't decided yet. I'll be back. All right, I'm just going to go for it and let whatever will be, will be. I want to take this and I'm going to try my fancy cut scissors. But if I don't like that, I don't know what's going to happen because I only have one of these pieces. All right. I thought about, I don't want to cover up too much. These antenna, I have to go. Sorry, bud. side I don't know maybe at an angle the light's actually too bright for me I hope it's not shining too much in your eyes that is pretty put that there or or what don't overthink it I like that so I'm going to take my Distress Ink in black and I'm going to try to just darken this up a little bit. I don't really have a lot of real estate. Put that there. Really don't need to do it for that. That is kind of yellow on yellow. see how far apart to put them all right now before I put these down let me peruse my stamps and see if there's something I should be stamping on this I have some butterflies straight on maybe something like that so that he has a friend or he could have a friend up here and then maybe one there making this ever closer to the center I do have a straight line there I'm trying to get rid of, but it is kind of in the center. That could be like a butterfly on the flower. All right, I'm going to go with that. No going back. Oh, I forgot I have this. <laughs> All right, well, we'll add that in a second. All right. good all right hopefully you can see just gonna have the butterfly kissing the side of this coffee mark 
kind of looks like a butterfly coming to a flower. Okay, that is dark. A little darker than I wanted. That's okay. All right, and I'm going to do this guy. Butterflies of a feather flock together. All right. There's something underneath of here not letting me press down like I want to. So this will be interesting. And it's on a dark spot. So that's more like a hint of a butterfly than a butterfly, but that's okay. I can always cover them over. No, that's okay. Now do I want to do that instead? Mm -mm. Decisions, decisions. Keep going. Now I have this beautiful piece. I almost want to roll it off the side of here. If I could move that up. the other side look like that's actually a little less matchy matchy maybe I can move this over here have enough for the stamp here all right let's try that now I did also think of green but I have also done these with, I think I'm gonna do my trick. I'm just gonna do this with some paint. I do have a problem being matchy matchy. It's a huge problem. Okay, I'm not trying to get that on there. It's like you need enough paint so that you have enough to grab the stamp, but not too much paint that the stamp kind of dies in it. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if this is going to stamp on. Nope. A little bit more. Hey, it looks good on there, doesn't it? A little bit more. The crafter in me wants to save that. Oh my God, that's way too much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something with the rest of this paint. That's way too much paint. All right, I'm gonna do this again. All right, gonna stamp it down. Hope for the best. If not, I can always turn it over. There we go. A little squishy, but I can always dry that and then put black on it. All right, so I can do something like that. Or even, I don't even, if I move this down. Good, I put that there. Maybe off the side. All right, let's glue down. Actually, let me dry it. I'll be right back. Before I dry it, I'm going to actually use this paint. And I'm going to paint this white part of my tag. 
I don't want my tag to be white. Most of this is going to be covered anyway. I like to put glitter inside the corrugated board. But sometimes I like to put a color on the outside. One of my favorite ATCs I did this with. I'll show you in a second. Because I hate to waste paint. I painted the corner and the side. And then I like to put glitter inside the All right, let me dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm mostly dry. And then I just had this idea, since I wasn't a big fan of the way the bigger butterfly looked because he's kind of covered. I'm going to do the same thing while I still have some paint here. Hopefully I have enough. So I like the clear stamp pads. You can kind of tell. you're going to get. There's more on the brush than on the paper. going to try to line this up as much as I can. And smoosh. Wish me luck. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, thank you. And now I want to do it to the other one. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it. Really running out of paint here. When I had my stamp pad, I made a card before and I used different colors of ink, but sometimes I forget things and sometimes I remember. All right, baby, line up. Very nice. Okay. Yep. I like that. And then why don't we do the opposite and see what ink likes to do over top of paint. Let me clean this up a little. I'll be right back. All right. I'm not quite sure the quality of the stamp I'm going to get because it is really dirty but we're gonna give it a try. It's a very undefined uh, thing I got going on here, so I don't really have much to lose. The hardest thing is gonna be trying to, it's what I do like about the other stamps is it's easier to line them up. I'm way off, but that's okay. It can be kind of a shadow effect. Oh, that's okay, look at that, all right. I'm happy about that. I'm way happier about that than I was. All right, and I get to cover over this line. And I have my friends there. I'm back to being matchy-matchy, but that's okay. And I have half of mine to distress. Let me take this away for a second. I think sometimes that the papers that I create on and make a mess are sometimes more interesting than what I'm creating. All right, let's just add this around the corners. I was gonna take the glitter again and grunge it over that way, but changed my mind. I still might do that in a second, but all right, where were we about here? And then we're gonna do this here. And then this guy can cover up my boo-boo here. You want to tuck and hide a little bit? Okay, all right, let's do that. I had a glue stick once. Or I could just rip it off. I really don't like that straight line. All right, so we're going to go about here.
pay so much. So, so much. Okay. Yeah, I know this that's so crooked. Hilarious. All right. I say. And I didn't want this to stick past the thing because it is a magazine ad. And I don't want you to be able to see it from the other side. Look, I'm auto grunging because my fingers are so dirty. I'm leaving dirt prints. I'll glitter over that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm hell bent on using my little guy. Am I peeking him? Are you peeking through? Yeah. All right, you're going to hide in there. That's fine. All right, now this guy. Getting a new center. Lots of glue. Hey, I wonder why I use a stick of glue on every project. I know they were going to flock together, but I'm liking him actually pointing in another direction. So I'm going to put him over here with a ton of glue. All right, I'm gonna turn this over and press it down. Cause that is, ugh. <laughs> hold on. It's such a thick piece. All right. And then I am gonna take, stop picking up hitchhikers. I'm going to take my um, glitter again and I'm going to put some on this piece and I think some on this butterfly too. I just, it's very, um, uh, I don't know the word, just shiny and doesn't seem to want to match up with what else I have going on here. I'm trying not to cover up the words. And that's not working. I'm gonna have to get some water and go back to that. Let me do this guy here. All right, jump just one even stroke through. And I'm not going to re-dab those guys. I can put some on him. can put some on here. All right, I got to do something about that. One of a kind piece. Bottled water to the rescue. I do not have another one of these. Please hold. Okay, crisis almost averted. Just have a few specks left, but they are off the word, so they almost rub too hard on yourself. You can see it almost started to come up. So I am going to calm down and not worry about that. A little piece sticking up here, which I'm not too worried about. I am going to dry this. Oh, that was the wrong brush. See, now I'm all, ooh. I'm gonna dry this and come back. Okay, here is the final.
product. The light is very glary. Let me see if it's any better with less light. Now, I am not a big fan of this butterfly. I think that improvement can be done, but that's how we learn by trying. I also might see what to do with the lettering there. I might try to take a paint pen. I don't know. I don't want to ruin that piece because it's the only piece like it that I have. I also had thoughts about perhaps ripping pieces of this butterfly um, and kind of grunging him up a little. But I don't know about that either. I'm looking for his antenna to see what the layers are underneath. I think it's just going to be like white. Well, oh, he's actually, he's a sticker. That's hilarious. Okay, it's a sticker and I glued it down. So, other than the sticker layer, stop it. There is other layers. They're just going to be white though. All right, well, I'm going to call it for now because I don't know how it's going to rip or separate. You know, I could get a nice tear out of it. But it's going to reveal white. Um, but I don't know how it's going to tear and what to do with that piece if, if it does. So I'm calling it a day. I don't not like it I do like it I think it's cool um, because it is a belly band if it's holding something in that this bothers I could always reinforce that like I said I do have enough here if I wanted to make it just a pocket I can see myself cutting it here and just having that um, maybe somewhere down the line if I do that I can play around with the ends of that and see what happens too so thanks so much for coming along for the ride I hope you like this. I'm not going to do the other one right now. The video is way too long. Um, I'll make that a silent sped up one. And then I will do this tag with the same pieces here. Kind of the same concept. And then I'll give you guys a break so you don't have to watch a zillion hour long video. Alright, I'll see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.